More than one of us have come across the problem of using a tall joystick uh, and then having it interfere with the handle from the canopy latch. And uh, one resolution to that seems to be to bend the handle instead of have it come straight down. So. No problem there. So then uh, there's still that question of how do you keep the thing from opening in flight. So I put a uh, stainless steel spring on here. Sprung. <laughs> okay, so we got that resolved. So then the question is how do you open it from the outside? And I resolved that by taking the uh, bolt out that acts as a, a pivot and fastening it tightly to uh, to the bracket here and uh, using an Allen wrench to open it from the outside. Okay, this is a little better angle. There's a a washer. Oh, okay. In inside here, there is a sleeve that is a clearance hole. is three eighths OD and quarter inch ID for a stainless steel socket head cap screw. There's a washer and a jam nut and a external star lock washer against the aluminum arm. So the, oh and the uh, the aluminum arm is threaded inside. So it's uh, what, a 1032 which is a AN3 type thread. So you thread the bolt into the arm and run that jam nut and star lock washer up real real tight, put some Loctite on it. And then on the outside this nut has a serrated washer on its inside surface and you do the same thing there. You run it up real tight so it bites right into the aluminum and put Loctite on it so that when you go to operate the canopy naturally I can't find it. There we go. See how that works? And there's a the Allen wrench, it's a what is that, a 3 16 uh, yeah, a 3 16 Allen wrench. So there's lots of lever arm here, so it pries the canopy open quite nicely. Okay, canopy is closed, and as you can see, it pries it open without any problem. Now, what happens if you go just a little too far? Uh-oh. My internal spring grabbed the, the latch. Now I can't get it open. Okay. Here's where we come in with a small, this is a 5 30 seconds, uh, yeah, 5.30 seconds, Allen key. I don't think I can hold this and operate the latch at the same time. Anyway, you push that in just a little bit. And there it goes, it freed it up. So we're pushing on that internal spring with this Allen key. And now I can go ahead and open it. So, there's a bit of security there in that you can leave your cozy outside and uh, open to public. People are not too likely to know what that hole is for. And even if they do, it still isn't going to unlatch until they find this hole right here, which you can't hardly see, and uh, know what to do with it. So that's the resolution to the, my problem. The only thing I have left is the, uh, the springiness of that piece of stainless steel. It's a little soft.
and it bends easily. So if I push too hard on this keyhole, I bend it. And yeah, I can get the thing open, but then I have to rebend it back to shape when I get inside to make sure it acts as it should to hold the canopy latched in flight. Well, I made several mistakes in the uh, earlier presentation. First of all, the stainless socket head cap screw is quarter 28 uh, thread, which is like an AN4 bolt, not an AN3. The uh, what I said external star washer is obviously an internal star washer, and the smaller Allen key is not five thirty seconds; it's five sixty fourths. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Here's one possible improvement, and that's to do away with the uh, the internal star lock washer and the nut with the built-in locking surface on the bottom and instead use Nord lock washers which is what these are. They're rather expensive and I don't happen to have any of the correct size but uh, they're a great innovation for keeping things locked together. So guys I'm open to suggestion. If you have any uh, ideas on how I can improve on this I'd like to hear them. Uh, you can uh, leave a comment at the bottom of the video, it's probably the easiest way. And uh, who knows, maybe this will be something that a lot of people can use. Take care, keep building.